right, guys, so war has changed quite a bit. As you can see, Watchtower is not touched. You can go in there as many people as they want. Whoever clears out the walkers as soon as takes over. We have one of our guys is already going in there. There's no reason for more than one, except for when you're going to go against the really, really high factions. You're going to want to know who's the quickest and who can get through the walkers the fastest. There's three waves. Then you pile on your, def um, your defense teams. So as you can see, this is three on three, super easy. Um, that hasn't changed at all. Right now, they're only giving us these two, 20% attack on strongholds and then 20% attack when defending. Not a big deal, not a huge thing. Um, and we're also going up against Beta 1, which usually has much better teams, but that person has one character, so they're going to die quickly. Now here's new uh, the new point system. Do you see the green is for faction points and the, the yellow is for individual points? You no longer can snipe, and I'm still laughing over it. Come on, guys. It's a game. And people are so misbehaved to the point of so many people complaining about people taking last kill that they changed it. It no longer is a point for you. You are on your own. Damn, this is a nice, strong team. I'm probably going to die here, so we'll see how this plays out. All right, let's go ahead over here. Damn, that was close. This new Aaron they're giving out, though, he is fantastic, just so everyone's aware. Um, he's get, been given out in every region as long as you participate in war. There you go. There's the points again. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to show you the kill because it is very, very different when you kill someone and when you get last kill. If it's in a group bonus or if it's somewhere else, it is very, very, very different. All right, this actually lined up pretty well, so let's go ahead. My weapons are shit. As you can see, people aren't dying like they should, but it's fucked. All right. You know, when they opened up these regions for beta, one, two, three, four, and they did two, three, and four, they gave everyone 115 tokens to open and character tokens which was phenomenal but they didn't give out any weapons tokens so we're all stuck with really really piss poor weapons <clears throat> oh as you can see here he captured it apply one defense that's all that's needed in these wars honestly people barely even show up for them um as long as you get two points on the board, you're going to get the coins anyways. Although continuous wars are getting five points per war. Um, and then, of course, there's the... Let me show you guys. So talking about it, let's go look at it. So here are the rewards for the factions. This is for the region. So first place gets 400 Second and third place gets 350, 250, 100. Um, so this is just for your specific region, okay? Then you have your individual milestones, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. So you get 50, then 75, then 100. It's a nice boost to your coins, let me tell you. Then they have region rings. So you get 50 for being in, and I'm in all four. So as long as you play in all of them, you're going to get every single one, 50, 40, 30, and 20 across the board, which is fantastic. I mean, like I said, they've been doing these every 13 hours, you guys. It's adding up quick. And once the war is over, you can join any of the betas at that time. They all open up again. They're only locked during the war. Jump into a faction, doesn't matter which, unless you, you know, really want to be in the top one. I mean, definitely worth it. First place is 400 coins. I mean, that's a lot of coins. And that will add up very quickly. Um, but just to show you, first place here 
We have over half a million. And they are all extremely strong guys. You know, Andrea's his leads for the most part. So they're doing pretty well here. Um, yeah, they're all S1++ pluses as far as I know. Which is hard to do here. You not only have to have the team, and it's not impossible to do here, but you have to have the team and then you have to be able to have the slots open, which means you then have to um, go and farm until you're level 19. All right, so I'm going to hopefully get the kill on this. So I can show you guys how this works. Nope, didn't get the kill. Um, somebody beat me to it. But it will say just the points of um, for the kill. And it will be just green. So hopefully I'll get one of them. Let's see, I have a can. Might as well use it, right? We can beat these guys. That saved my ass. Look, she's got one point. One point. All right, so he's dead. And they'll die soon. See, there's the streak. So you get your five times, you get all those bonuses. But you also get a character defeat, defeated bonus. You get 20 points now for every character that you kill. If you lose the battle, you still get 100 points for 100 attack, attack points, no matter what. And then say you killed all four, then you'll have 80 points. So you get 20 points per char, or a char that you, ki you kill, which is fantastic. All right, let's go after this one again. I'm really trying to get you guys to see... how this all works. Damn. He didn't go off last time. And of course he went off this time. I mean, not the end of the world if I... not ah, crap. I'm gonna die now. Now, see how this, like, kind of lags? Oh, now he's gonna kill him again. He's already dead down here, but, you know, it's cool. <clears throat> this kind of worked out perfectly. It's exactly what I wanted to show you guys. Um, see that Aaron, pretty badass, just saying, pretty badass, but Shane is going to kill Rod, and then of course, because Shane is Rod, he's killing my people very quickly, and I can't get this guy's AR to jump to save my life, but here you go, so I killed two, but I didn't win anything. So I inflicted zero damage, but I still got 100 points and then 20 for the two I killed, so 140. It's pretty awesome. It works. It works well. Um, and then it guarantees everybody who's struggling and not able to get points, especially when you're a little, and I'm sorry, I call them littles. Um, I'm an S1++ indicator, and anyone who's, you know, an A, probably an S, an S plus or an S1 down is a little at that point when you're on that kind of when most of the faction is an S1 plus plus. But anyways, we call them littles, our littles. And we do have littles. That's the first time I've ever seen someone take the tower back. That's kind of funny. And insta repair over a win in beta. They must be doing very well. No oh, total war points. I wonder if you can see what they're doing. Yeah, 580,000. They're ranked number two. So, yeah, they're doing pretty well. That would be why they are re they're healing and doing everything that they are. Anyway, so with that whole ordeal, look, she changed. She figured out that she screwed up her team. So this is her actual team. Anyone in beta has a huge advantage. And the reason being is that they... Um... Crap. 
The reason being is that Beta 1 has been around for a long time. So there's people that have been playing in there for a long ass time. Come on. So I still have the win, which is awesome. <clears throat> so I get less points, but on top of that, you get the character defeated bonus. So before, this would have only been about 300 hit points, but instead now it's five. So that's awesome. And of course, it's not as much as when you hit them full, but it's something. So um, what was I saying? Beta has a huge advantage over us because they have been... Um, Crap, now what do I have to do? Let's do them first. Please die, damn it. Alright, so he heals everybody, which is a good thing to do. And then let's see if we can get... All right, so that's not bad. Again, I have, like, no weapons worth a damn, so it's kind of a problem, but it's not the end of the world. That motherfucker keeps healing. Please don't kill him yet. All right. He's a very heavy hitter. He's holding a freaking club. It's, like, worth nothing, and he kills everybody, so... You have the attack points, the character points, that all adds up quick. Beta is way ab above everyone else. Um, and perfect timing, because I'm dead. So, what you what they'll do... Um, Beta's been around for so long that everybody there who plays there, like I've said in other videos, a lot of people will play just in Beta, and that's where their whole team is. They never come into the actual regions. In my opinion, it's kind of cheating. Everything's handed to you. Um, for example, I'm just going to go in real quick. This war is done and show you. I joined this beta is, what am I in? Beta 2? Yeah, I'm in beta 2. And by the way, this faction is super nice. Troll army, nicest people ever. They really are. Just decent people all the way around. So I hit a new milestone. There's 75 coins. Sweet. Um... But I'm already a level 20 town hall, and I've been here for, you know, two days. <laughs> and then I went ahead, and it took me a couple of hours yesterday. But I was able to um, get up to level 19 so that I don't have a cap on my rosters anymore. Because this little thing up here is a really big deal. You've got to have it at 101. And that is a level 19. So I did figure that much out for you guys. Um, especially who's starting. Then of course here you go. Five more coins. So you get five coins for every single war you do. Plus you have the incentives. Now I'm sure once war comes out for us. Um, once war comes out for us, it will be probably the same thing. You know, uh, war can for first place, then um, a war can for, or a raid can, energy can, and a go down the line. I don't see that changing much. But what will change is... Your milestone rewards. This is going to be something to be seen what they do with it. I'm hoping, and trust me, they're going to be a lot higher. This is probably going to be 150,000, 100,000, and 50,000, knowing how Scopely is. So I'm hoping that these are war cans. Um, if they're war cans, then that's going to help everyone out, and everyone's going to want to hit those milestones, which will make everyone happy in the game. Honestly, people will war more. There'll be less people waiting for eight. Um, that is the best way to do it, in my opinion, is make these war cans. But I don't, I, mean, I don't work for Scopely, so. And then, of course, you know, like I said, here's, like, at the end where you're going to get it. And, um, and then we won't get anything from this because we're not ranked in the top 
All right, so if you have any questions, concerns, comments, always feel free. I want to hear about it. Um, I'm here to help you guys use me, talk to me, ask me questions. Um, but this is going to be what war is next weekend, according to Scopely. Of course, we can't always trust them. And what we're being told, they have bugs, glitches, shit happens. But at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. So this is going to be the new war structure. And this is going to be what it is 110%. So, um, and it's supposed to come out this next weekend. So hopefully, you know, this weekend's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Um, big deal, guys. You know, good dads are hard to find, especially in this time. You know, everyone's lives are world shit. So um, happy Father's Day to all the good daddies out there. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, 